During a typical baseball season, more than 26 million dogs and sausages are consumed during innings. Welcome back to Over Food Sake. I'm Jamie DeSilva. I am Janice Domingo. And if you can't tell, we're A's fans, everybody. Really? How can you tell? How can you tell? I don't know. The hat, A's stadium, which I miss so much. Like, I do. So much. So much. So much. Um, which is one of the reasons why Jamie and I are actually friends, because I, I was just shocked. For some reason, I would have pegged you as a Giants fan. No, don't say those words. No, no, no. A is all the way every day. That's all I've ever gone to baseball games. Born and raised in Oakland. So I like thing. feel uneasy at the Giants stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. No hate. Don't come at me. Don't yeah, come don't at, at me. Us. It's a beautiful at- stadium. <laughs> but I'm an Oakland fan. That's just where we would go. It's just, I feel more comfortable there. No frills, yeah. just more comfortable. No, no frills at all. But you know what? I'm not there for the frills. I'm there to enjoy a damn game. Like, I'm going to see some good, good food and some good which food, which is what we're going to talk about. Um, but before we start our episode, we're actually going to, so me and Jamie decided to, since it's baseball season, uh, we decided to come up with this little game before this episode today, which is, um, I don't know, should we do it as a count of three? Um, Can we say, like, hold on for a second and talk Yeah. About how many hot dogs we said that were consumed? It's a lot of hot dogs in a season. And I can understand yeah, why they're delicious. Million. 26 million hot dogs. I feel like each person can usually do like one or two at a game, depending on which one you get. Okay, this but is true. But we're going to go on to another weird fact after this too. Like okay. after, after we play that's our little true. game. But um, the little game Olympics. that I came up with was, I don't know if we should do it at the count of three or if we just do it one after the other. Uh, say who, in our opinion, Let's say our opinion, this is an opinion. In, okay? our, in our opinion, our opinion. I'm not going to, I'll give you my real opinion one and then I'll tell you the back one as that's another Same. like uh, who in my opinion is or who in our opinion is so the let's do on the count of three. baseball player is and then who my favorite baseball player is of all time okay so okay. do it on the count of three i, I feel like we yes. might say the same thing okay i think we might say the same person okay you you go ahead and count it in. okay one two three hank Aaron. Babe Ruth. but we have Correct. favorite baseball players of all time like is it joe dimaggio yours joe i like joe i mean you he like was joe. on like he's like in the top five i want to say but he's, but that's for the reason. I did get to actually meet Joe. Oh, once. nice. Yeah, I did get okay, to meet yeah, him. I'm but jealous. he was really, really cool. But um, yeah, I have like a top five list. But I think Hank Aaron, you know, he, he, uh, I think it's a top fifth person with home runs. He hit his 300th one. But not only that, he was like MVP, three times Golden Glove. So I feel like all around. Okay, that makes sense. For me, someone who's an infielder and was a hitter that's why he got it for me now the Bay Ruth though I mean he's you can't he's legendary yeah like that that's the only reason why like for me like off the top of my head if I'm looking at like stats in general it's Bay Ruth it's gonna be Bay Ruth all the way but I do have like a favorite baseball player of all time and for me it's gonna be Jackie Robbins okay yes um just historically what he's done on the field as well as what he's done off the field for you know people mm-hmm. of color in general um mm-hmm. that's always going to have a special place in my heart and the fact, the fact that the you know the MLB retired the MLB the entire MLB re- retired his number like who does that mm-hmm. like who gets that kind of number? I mean he does because no one else can be that number yeah. nobody can be you that know? awesome you um, know as interesting Jackie fact about myself is that I've actually one of my bucket lists of all the bucket lists that I have is to see a game in every stadium in the United States. And I am now, I'm only missing five, five or six. So I'm almost there. Almost. And COVID, it was sad. It was sad with COVID for obviously for the obvious reasons, but baseball makes me happy. I was always a couple games, at least the summer in my twenties, when I lived up here in Northern California, I was gone. I was doing all the time before you bought online people where you like (laughs) went to see scalpers. Okay. And just hope to God it was the right one you bought. Yes, you didn't pray. You're like, please let these be. The- you know, please let uh, these be right. we tailgate it all the time, all the time. No oh, man, we, and we are gonna do a tailgate episode um, come football season because we're gonna talk about tailgate food. We just have to. Um, yeah, but we are going to go ahead and discuss our actual episode now that we got that out of the way. 
is, is that concession food concession food. Ballpark? Yeah. ballpark food take me out to the ball game you're welcome folks for that one um what so when you think of great. ballpark food <laughs> <laughs> when you think of ballpark food what's the first thing that comes to your head peanuts and cracker jacks Ooh, not hot dogs well yeah not but just hot, dogs. <laughs> hot dogs i was so bad they're like schlepping up the stairs but i do yeah and those like, like I, I feel the need to have to purchase something hot dog to- carrier you know, so it's like, I feel like they're gonna have to stop. I might as well buy a few. And sometimes I do like, I'll buy like a few, but it's not just for me. I'll like get person who's next to me or someone down my line. You want one, you want one. Like sometimes I pay it for it. I'll get like five, whoever wants one, whoever, you know? yeah, pass, pass it along, pass it along. But what yeah. is, before we get to like how the hot dog was started, what is your take on like, what's your favorite stuff on your hot dog? Like what's your I like a, a good loaded hot dog. So, uh, oh, okay. by the way, I'm not a hot dog person really so much. I'm a hot link person. I oh hot link, yeah, hot link all the way. I need some spice. Yeah, hot link all the way. Hot link corn dog. That's my jam. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that that's. I mean, I'll 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 eat a corn dog. Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat it if you put it in front of me. Yes, because She'll I like it, any, any, any salad, it. Any salad, shove it in my face. You know. Whoa. I'm gonna edit that. Yep. No, don't <laughs> don't edit it at all. It's our fucking show. Yes. Uh, but yeah, if it, yeah, I'll also eat a corn dog no matter what. But hot links, I, hot links my jam. So you're That's talking like mayo, mustard. I mean, I'm sorry, mustard, ketchup, relish, onions. Um, I'm cool with the relish unless it like I don't like sweet relish. It needs to be <gasps> dill. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. That's like blasphemy no, so right there. No, no, blasphemy? no, no. I need that sweet with the crunch. You're like I don't down the spice I like of a hot link or like a um a really good polish dog the polish Ooh, okay dog. polish we'll go I'll, I'll second i'll second that uh, the hot link with the polish sauerkraut i i gotta have my sauerkraut oh good day get off no 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 no, no. you ruined we it friends anymore we're not friends anymore no you get that stinky shit seconds. away from me like it's cool and i no because in the what's gonna happen sauerkraut juice is gonna run down your hands you're gonna stink like sauerkraut the entire game I, I wouldn't care. I love sauerkraut. <laughs> really on the hot dog? I like, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. I like, See, I'm the, like the sour. I like the sour. Do you like chili dogs? Um, debatable. I would say like it, depending in, on where it's from. Okay. Depends on like the chili. Like it it would is. depend on the chili. Like okay. I'm particular about my chili. Um, but I'm like a mustard ketchup, but I'm more of a mustard girl than a ketchup girl um onions and sweet relish like lots of sweet relish and that is my jam i don't need cheese on it anything super fancy no. that oh, way gosh, but, no. but i think the hot dog just makes it easy and accessible like meat right it is it's at an the baseball game it's accessible meat just like the meat that you're watching hey <laughs> this this and every, this this one is a fun one <laughs> we apparently like hot dogs, hot dogs. Games, truly that was really sad i mean everything covid was really sad to shut down but we didn't have the sports to kind of turn on that we're all used to go- doing and you and your job is basically watching oh tell, no, the, tell the folks what you do tell the folks um, what you do so i work for disney streaming services i'm on the espn plus side and Ooh. i literally i literally watch sports for a living um but there was no sports for an entire year uh made me sad it also made me technically unemployed <laughs> true true that definitely it definitely yeah. did but um it but was- it sports came back like full force but at the beginning of the of, of the year like in february so i was like hauling ass at work trying to working from home obviously and that's uh, just been one ass yeah and that's been one thing like all last year was just so sad not to go see and that's one thing this year that i've been jonesing to do so guess what we're doing yeah. tomorrow folks be battle of well, the by bay the, yeah. by the time this episode airs we would have already been at battle of the bay oh, and that's it's right. not yes, battle of the, not battle but well, i guess you can call it battle, battle of the bridge because it's between oakland a's and the san francisco giants and the only thing splitting them is the bay bridge very but, true yeah I think some I I read somewhere that it's um referred to as Battle of or 
the Bart battle or something. I'm like, no. Really? Yeah. I'm like, that, ugh. That makes, That's a good that question. Is there going to be writing Bart to come to the game? That's the thing is, you can't even, it's hard to get to <sighs> Oracle Park from Bart. Yeah, it is. It's like, that's it? why we always did Oakland. Yeah, that's why easy. I always did Oakland because I, I, my, my station is Fruitvale Station. I just hop on Fruitvale, get off right there at the Coliseum. Easy, yeah, easy, it's easy. Yeah, it's one of the easiest Coliseums. Like exactly. Levi's, accessible, super difficult, super difficult. Sorry, Levi's, just can't. Like it's, I've gone there for, I did go for a football game, and a couple of concert, and it's horrible getting out. Like you, if you have three hours to waste, hang tight over there at Levi's. See, this is this is what's one thing good about not being sponsored by anybody is you can kind of say whatever the hell you want because it's your opinion. So by okay. the way, Oracle and Levi's, it is difficult to get to your stadium. So difficult. So, Way to be difficult. Prove us wrong. Thank you. Thank you, Oakland, for being thank so you, easy. For being accessible. In many ways. In many ways. <laughs> it's just it's, there's no frills in Oakland. There's no frills, but you no. walk through those hallways and it's like, yes. I don't need to be pampered at a baseball game. I just want to be entertained and get me some food. So Janice, do you know how the the hot dog became the hot dog? I don't. I, I know there's a couple different myths, mythoses. Mythos as a myth. Well, don't you worry. Let me let you know how that happened. Okay. So, first of all, it's kind of like no one really knows which person. There's two people involved here, but no one really knows definitively which one brought it over. But it was allegedly allegedly two immigrants. One was uh, German, one was British. Were they arguing over whose hot dog was bigger than the other? (laughs) (laughs) that's such a knee slapper janice Um, my my mom joke of the day (laughs) your mom joke yes um well one was um he was looking for a portable vessel if you will eating at baseball parks and he was living in st louis and at a baseball ground that he had owned or knew that was nearby his house that the Browns played in and he wanted to start selling it there. And his name was Chris von de Acha from Germany. That's the German. Yeah. German. That's the German. So that's how he decided to start selling it there. Just it was more portable and made people happy. And then the other person was Harry M. Stevens, who was from, uh, who's British. And it's allegedly from mentalfloss.com that he, was normally selling ice cream and on a really cold day wanted to switch over to hot dogs because most people were wanting something warm in their hands and easy to contain and he had looked at a cartoon in the newspaper and the cartoonist couldn't spell dutch hound correctly so he whoever the cartoonist was put hot dog so he started selling hot dogs is how i got the term and then he just wanted something more portable and then since then it just made it where it was faster easier they were easy to steam, easy to be portable. They're nice and warm and delicious, frozen or whichever. And that's been like a staple since uh, the 1890s in baseball so, parks. Okay, nice. So, so a really it, long time. Yeah, it's been there, like over what over 100 years now. It's been it's been a staple baseball food. So how much do you think a hot, hot dog, dog was back in 1890? Oh, I don't know. How much should it should something like that be like? five cents yeah <laughs> like a nickel i would say probably five to ten cents as opposed to you know the eight to ten dollars that they are now yeah can we right? talk about that yeah can we talk about that for a second can we talk about that talk about that eight to ten dollars yeah. for a hot dog now um thank you capitalism would you pay, tw- <laughs> would you pay twenty dollars for a hot dog and if you did what would be the hot dog like what is the meat what's on is it top? gonna give me a lap dance <laughs> like, it might be I a party in the mouth might be a full on party in the mouth, a lap dance in the mouth. <laughs> that's what I think. Like I think that's the only way I'd pay twenty dollars for a hot dog. Like I don't know, does it does it have truffle on it? Like what what would what would merit? We should a look at what the most expensive one is. I don't know. We should probably or gold leaf, <laughs> like gold leaf. Uh, yeah, gold like, leaf. Would it have gold top? leaf on it? I don't know. Like mm-hmm. if they have jalapenos, there, I'll definitely take jalapenos for sure. For oh, sure, yes, definitely. The spicier, better. But also on that note of jalapenos, let's talk about nachos. So let's talk about the other uh, favorite, uh, which I can't stand. Food. I can't okay, stand. yeah, Jamie. Jamie cannot stand. It's okay. Jamie cannot I, stand nachos. I love nachos at the ballpark. At the ballpark, I need a table, and then you're sucking and licking your fingers, and you're constantly going in. It just isn't sanitary. <laughs> no, 
There are a few, you few know, items. And, and also, it's not enough cheese. It's not enough cheese. It's I never said enough it. cheese. It's, it's never, never enough, cheese. enough cheese. But you're going to give me that for $11 or seven, you know, stale tortilla chips and a little bit of cheese and some jalapenos or whatever. It just isn't the kick in the pants for me. And also, it requires two hands. I would rather have a beer in one hand and then a hot dog in the other, like double, double fist, fist, whatever that was. Um, double fist versus like having to sit a tray here. Although if you're trying to catch a ball, you could use a tray to like catch. You I'm could do a, do a hat. I'm always like, I'm going to get that fucking ball, get in that ball. Like I'll take my hat off, you know, do like a dotty. What's her name in League Dottie of the Hansen. Road? Dottie Hanson. Dottie Hanson. Oh no. From League of the Road. Yeah. She did her hat. No. Was it the other catcher? No, it was, it was Madonna. It was all the way me. Madonna did it. Oh, that's right. Cause Dottie went home. Yeah. She went home for Bill Pullman. I get it. And then she came back. She it's okay. We didn't. No crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. No crying in but baseball. But yeah, the, the other favorite staple of uh, ballpark food is the, well, okay. So nachos started in, were, they were invented, I should say. They were invented in Mexico, in uh, northern Mexico anyway, like near uh, the border of, of Texas. Uh, by, really? yes, they were by Ignacio Anaya Garcia and Ignacio, the nickname for Ignacio is Nacho. Um, really? Yeah, that is that is a nickname for for people named Ignacio. It's, it's a cultural thing. That's so interesting. Yeah. Really? Um, and it was invented in a cafe by a mater D who by this mater D Ignacio and, and I, I believe I'm saying that Anaya Garcia. Um, he invented it just by there there were some you know fresh tortillas in the kitchen and some uh, um some melted cheese or he decided to top it with some melted cheese and, and just some jalapenos and that's it and i don't know i'm getting a little um i have two sources one is from the smithsonian and the other one is from um I forgot the other website i found it on so it kind of differs between it's it was either um colby jack or american cheese i couldn't mm. I couldn't really distinguish which the now two. typically like in fast food places and or the ballpark it's like creamy cheese right it's like the okay cheese. i'm getting to that part too okay so okay. this is that's the original recipe the original recipe was just some tortillas some melted cheese and the and just some jalapenos um it wasn't until 1976 uh frank i don't even know if i'm gonna I, i'm probably gonna butcher this even though as simple as his name sounds it's either liberto or liberto uh, who was Let's the go owner? Frank Liberto. Liberto. Yeah. So Frank Liberto, um, who was the owner of Rico's Products, invented the machine that makes the processed cheese. So that was how uh, that th the food became a staple in ballpark in, in ballpark fair was because of the invention of the machine. So the machine made it easier and more accessible. And yes, just easier, more cheese. accessible. Did and they it was have it on top, or like was it like a dipping situation? Oh no, you just spread that sucker on top. But okay. I mean, I guess these days it's, you know, just in a separate container and you do, yeah. do the dippables. They don't do like a real one. And I guess also too, I don't want that either. If I want nachos, I want like the fully loaded, all of that with all the layers and stuff. I like so fake cheese on my shit. I'm sorry. I do. I like, I yeah. like the fake. Did you, yeah, did did you grow up with cheese whiz in your family? Um, No, but I did. I'm like, no, I don't think, well, no, I think we did. I, you know, I, I don't remember. It's but like I, I do like cholesterol in a bottle. Oh, of mm -hmm. course. That's totally what it is. But uh, I definitely, I, I, yeah, I like the melty, melty gooey cheese, the fake cheese on my, on my nachos. So when you go to baseball games, do they usually have like a meat option on there too? I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten. Is it just like cheese, sour cream and jalapenos? I don't think I have my hands ever... want to speak too. I have never ordered nachos at a ballpark, to be honest. I, I've seen people do it. I have never done it. Um, I just don't. I don't. I just also like a lot of accents because you know me. The chi chis are there, man. And often I can't be. I eat, I can't I've have nice things. The theater. I can't have nice things. And there's always something that drops. So the less I have to do this, <laughs> the better for my shirt and my top ties. Otherwise, there's a snack bag down there. Do you know what I'm saying? No, seriously. Like, I swear I've dropped the so whole sandwich a hot dog's down there better. before. better. Cause it's easier to, it's covered now for sure. You might get like some ketchup spillage for sure. Mustard. I mean, what kind of game is it not? If you don't have any mustard to catch up to show up that you were actually there. No, that's true. It's proof. Or any burr, beer, burr, 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 <laughs> the beer spilled on you, you know, crunching up peanuts. You know what I'm saying? Burr, burr. You ever had, you ever eaten a hot dog or like a 
nacho or like an item at a game and someone sneezes right next to you like on your stuff and you're like disgusted do, like, disgusted and you want to do you either do you not but also you don't want to get up to go get another one and I don't I don't like sitting in those lines either even before COVID I'm not sitting in lines I will kind of wait for like a guy to come unless I get there early enough and I can do it but I also get mad if I'm going to miss the game I know they have the TVs there no it's not like, the same it's not the same it's not the same and also like who I take to the games is interesting because I don't take friends that like are like not really into baseball because that's not fun either they're like looking around talk about tiktok you know <laughs> like taking snapchats i'm like we're here for oh, the oh game. yeah no no no, no. we're here for the game that i become a little angry some words might come out um i think a lot of people like going there for the food churros which i know was later added on later on oh, fuck oh that was another churros. fun fact uh what, what was it that uh garlic fries garlic fries is actually Ooh. pretty new that didn't come around until yeah. the early 90s um oh, and that girl, was invented girl, girl. by by gordon is it gordon birch or gordon birch i say gordon birch yeah birch um i would say but they yeah. put a shit ton of garlic on there a shit they ton do. Of garlic, which i appreciate heavily because i'm i love garlic love garlic I, but garlic fries is, is a thing too but then it's also if you want to share I just, are you a sure or you put it you get like your own trays and then spread them on each because that is a lot of fries they do get it's a lot too of fries. garlicky for me garlic fries are too garlicky for me i like a roasted garlic oh like where it's a little bit sweeter not so like, yeah sharp little, and yeah like no I, I i can't i can't like i it is delicious it's just it's too a little too yeah pungent for me i i can't do it um but that that does bring us to our our last uh ballpark favorite of of the day and i kind of said it at the beginning is cracker jacks <gasps> you can't cracker get jacks the seventh cracker inning stretch jacks so without singing take me out to the ball game cracker jack is one of those things just like the hot dog no one has concrete evidence as who was the real person who brought it over in 1857 there was a merchant who was selling sugar-coated popcorn and as time went on, uh, in Chicago, there was two legends, which was Charles Frederick Gunther, and he was known as the Candy Man, and Cracker Jack's king, the Frederick William Ruckheim, German immigrant known as Fritz, who sold the popcorn in Chicago. And so, like I said, there's a lot of exaggerations on both sides and who was first, but with Ruckheim, uh, he had the sugar coated popcorn with molasses that was mixed with peanuts and was really well known by the uh, late 1860s. And then he brought on his partner, business partner, William Bruck- Brinkmeyer, and brought his brother, Louis, from Germany, and they joined their, their venture together and then formed their company. And then uh, in 1896, Lewis discovered a method to separate the kernels of molasses coat of popcorn. So I think the problem they were having is that it was starting to cluster so much instead of being separate kernels to then eat so he came up with the i think they added a little bit of oil right at the very end of the mixture so that way they separated enough how did the cracker jack make its way to the ballpark the song take me out to the ball game written by the lyricist jack norworth and composer alba von tilser which gave the cracker jack free publicity on that and by 1922 the name of the chicago company was changed to the cracker jack company and then started um not only with the, the song take me out to the ba- uh take me out to the ball game and their baseball cards that were first into their boxes is the way that they got into stadiums and the fact that it was easily packaged yeah there's just so many there's so many facts on the cracker jack box which i think is really really um interesting but yeah the jack's uh mascot was sailor jack and his dog bingo was introduced uh and was modeled after Ruckheim's grandson Frederick. And then when he died, he actually had that logo of his grandson etched into his tombstone. Aww. So you can see it at St. Henry's Cemetery if you're into some weird shit. <laughs> and it was yeah, thanks for that life. morbid weird shit. <laughs> yeah. And but the real life name of the dog was named Russell. Okay. But bingo is what its name on the box. And Russell died in 1930 of old age. So and again, yet well, another. More morbid, morbid fun facts. Weird shit. Yeah. So how many, so if you were to say, how many games have you been to in your lifetime? I have no idea. Because I remember in elementary school, them giving us like A's tickets 
like nothing. So I always I, had a dream of marrying a famous baseball player. Is it? Do you see how that went? The pipe dream just left. Yeah, just. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> I always did. I always wanted like a marriage proposal. I was that cheesy person for a you long wanted, time. You like, wanted you want to be proposed marriage- to from the pitcher's mound. <laughs> <gasps> yeah or like on a screen or whatever oh. I did and I've grown up a little bit um but still think it's corny and awesome at the same time it is corny and awesome at the same time that's I like- love baseball games and the fireworks that are done like we went to ever that was our fourth of July plans always as a family was the fourth of July even they had um Star Wars day like before COVID um I went to that one they gave you I think you give you like a figurine or like a, a Star Wars shirt or like a blanket or something like that oh that's I'm cool all for, I'm all all for it but some people have a hard time it's like a lot of people and like the crowd and I just I don't know I'm into it they had I remember they they had a green day day where they Did set they? the fireworks yeah they set the fireworks to green day music really yeah that was dope that was pretty dope they let everybody on the field again pre-covid this is like i don't know how many years ago pre-covid after the game yeah they let everybody onto the field and yeah that was good times that was so much fun yeah because now that i don't know if they're gonna do that i don't know if they'll let you tailgate now these days oh gosh yeah with it all that's just a lot of we'll see when football season comes around we are definitely going to do more episodes like this uh in the future uh expect a favorite 90s nostalgic oh, food yeah episode. i am amped on that one better get your tamagotchis ready bitches get your tamagotchis and your ace of base ready and if there's if there are any other episode or any other food historical foods that you want to know more about you know add us in the comments for that one uh yeah let yeah, us know or, or email, email us. us yeah at uh info dot oh for food's sake at gmail.com we're looking to like we both don't know i know i'm like email address info dot o for food sake at gmail.com and you can also catch us at our social media accounts uh both handles are the same for our instagram and our tiktok our old asses have some tiktok uh it we is we got some tiktok but we old asses we old. like <laughs> but we did it janice but we did, we it. did it so our our handles are oh underscore f-o-r underscore f-o-o-d-s underscore s-a-k-e and that is both for instagram and tiktok did i spell I that understand right, there's i can't spell it is no you spelled it we have degrees we did it um i know it's a lot of underscores but it's all they I have math. <laughs> no math no math we are calm majors calm majors no math no get math. away with that goddamn calculator <laughs> you know like the scientific ones like don't know math i don't need your rooted nothing uh, but thanks again for joining us on Oh For Food's Sake. And please hit that subscribe button and show us some love. No hate. Please some no, big love. No, no hate. Yeah. No hate. Let's no just hate. love each other and love us a lot. So click a lot, share. That's how we get to do this whole shenanigans. Because they pay us so much. So, so much. So much. much. <laughs> All right. I'll see you at the game. We'll see you. I <laughs> love Bye. you. Bye.